it says so question six june 2021 it says farmer brown makes trust to feed his farm animals using wood that is five centimeter thick as shown in the diagram below the troughs are rectangular base open at the top and have external dimensions of 300 190 160 centimeter so those are the external um dimension and it says show by calculation that the internal capacity which is volume of the trough is 8091 so first what we need to remember is what is our formula for volume and we know that volume is equal to length times width times height. But now we're looking, what they gave us was the external dimension. And they want us to prove that the internal dimension is this 8, 8 million and 91,000. So volume is equal to our length, which is 300. The thickness of the wood is the five centimeter. And if you're looking at the internal dimension here, so this inter this is the internal dimension. And what it means is that we lost five centimeters here and we lost five centimeters here. Because remember, we're looking at the internal dimension. So go again, this is the same, this is the same. This would have been the length. This board is a 300 centimeter. But based on the internal aspect, we did not go straight across. So we lost five centimeters here at this side and we lost five centimeters here. And that is our first change. And that is all for the length. That is how we got 300 minus 10. following me so far and then for the width which is 190 it would be the same approach so if you realize the width here so if you're going from here to here again you'd have lost five centimeters here and five centimeters here And that is how we oh, got. Sir, where I get, where I get the ten right? This is it. So I got this ten because based on the length three on three hundred. Remember, if we're looking at remember, I know the dimensions that they gave here are the external dimension. So this is external dimension going from here to here. So let's say this is the external dimension, 300. But look at the internal dimension. You realize that because the boards are overlapping, the wood is overlapping, in each instance, there is, based on the internal dimension, there's a part of the board that would be missing. So when this board here meet this right here, we lost five centimeter. And the same thing here, we lost five centimeter. So five centimeter that we lost here plus five centimeter that we lost here gave us this 10 centimeter. All right. Yes. So let me just put it back on this. So it is the five centimeter right here. So looking at the length. So we lost five centimeter here. and a five centimeter here. And that is how we got 10. The same thing for the 190, we'd have lost five centimeter here and five centimeters here. Now for the height, what would be, how much did we lose there? Five. Hmm? Sir, five. Five-ish, yes. 
Or so five, for the right? height, we only lost five because remember the question said it was it hard uh so it is open at the top so therefore there is nothing there so the height here you have only lost some at the bottom where five centimeter would have been so that is how we'd have got 160 minus five so therefore our volume then that we are working with is volume is equal to 290 multiply by 180 multiply by 155. When you work that, tell me what do you get for your volume? Very good. So they've gotten what they said for us to prove. So it would have been 8 million and 91 thousand centimeter cube. And that is how we got our answer there. So it's just about looking and analyzing. Any questions? So next, they wanted us to find, to calculate the volume of wood needed to make the trough. So now we're looking at the volume of wood that is needed. And this can easily be found by doing the volume, the external volume minus the internal volume. So volume of wood needed is equal to external volume minus the internal volume. So you can the volume of wood, so you're looking at these dark areas there. So they want to basically find out what is the volume of that so on our trough, that dark area. So it would be the volume of the external portion minus the volume of the internal portion. That would give us the volume of wood needed. So very good, Alisa. So it is 9,120,000 uh, 9, minus 8,091,000. And that would give us 1,029,000 centimeter cube. So for those who don't see, volume. All right, let's first look at the external volume. So let's calculate that. The external volume that is equal to the 300 multiplied by the 190 multiplied by the 160. And that is how Alisa got the 9,120,000. Centimeter cube, and now using back our formula volume of wood, it is the external volume which we just calculated 9,120,000 minus the internal volume which we calculated here. Because the question said, Show that the internal volume is that, so it is that minus 8 million and 91,000. So therefore, volume of wood needed is equal to 1,029,000 centimeter cube. And that is our final answer. Any questions from that? All right, so part C now says, Farmer Brown must paint the internal surface of the trough. And it says, given that one gallon of paint covers approximately 280 centimeter square, centimeter cube, centimeter square, sorry, 
of surface determine the total amount of paint in liters that is needed to paint the internal surface of the truck. So what we know, um, so looking at our truck, so we're looking at painting the internal surface. So we'll need to paint here and here. So we need to find the area. So we need to paint here and here. We need to paint inside here. And we need to paint inside here. So here and here, here and here, and the base. So basically, we'll be finding the area of each part of our trough. And remember, we're using the internal dimensions. So therefore, area, which is the area of the internal, it would have been 290 length times width, 290 multiplied by 155, which is multiplied by two, because we have two sides that are using this exact measurement plus the other side it is 180 length times width 180 multiplied by 155 and we have both the back and the front so it is two sides plus the base which is 180 multiplied by 290 it is the only part because the top is open and we can now go ahead and work so therefore area which is our internal It is equal to, this is 89,900 plus 55,800 plus 52,200. So therefore, area is equal to 197,900 centimeter square. So now we have the total area there. Remember the question is asking us to find internal surface, the amount of paint needed. So we have the total area there. And the question told us right here that one gallon of paint covers approximately 280, 280,000 centimeters square. This is the total area that we have in there. So therefore, it would be, we're looking at how much a uh, gallon is needed. So it will be 197,900 divided by 280,000. And that will give us, because remember this is centimeter square divided by centimeter square. So that cancels out and we get 0 0.7068. We can now multiply this because it says one gallon is equal to 3.79 liters. And the question asks us to state our answer in liters. So therefore, 0 0.7068 very good alisa very good multiply by the 3.79 and we will get 2.68 liters as our answer did it say to write it to a specific um no it didn't so it just says um determine the total amount of paint in liters which is 2.68 liters worth of paint would be needed to cover approximately um, the internal surface of the truck.